Life in a big city can sometimes feel overwhelming. When I can, I try to live a slow life in Shanghai and take the time to stop and smell the flowers. what to do. <laughs> I met up with Melissa this weekend and headed to Plus One, a cafe with expertly crafted coffee. I loved the style of the cafe, so decided it was the perfect place to pull out my sketchbook and start sketching. If you're an old subscriber, you'll know that I enjoy anything arty, painting, sketching and being creative. If you'd like to see more of my work or purchase prints, I run an Etsy shop which ships worldwide and you can find the link in the description. drinks we headed out in search of food. I'm going to be eating a lot of bread today. <laughs> Worth it. After dinner, Melissa and I had hoped to find a little wine bar nearby, but instead settled with tea at STA Lounge. We decided to share the jasmine green tea, which was recommended by the gentleman who worked there. And of course, I also had to have a mocktail. I had the passion fruit and lime soda. The next day, I headed back into the city center to have some lunch at Taco Taco. This was one of my favorite places to order when we used to live nearby. 
I ordered the chicken rice. After finishing up my lunch, I headed to the first farmer's market of the season at Jashan Market. Of course, it wouldn't be a day in the city without visiting a cafe. I love trying new drinks and relaxing in the cozy vibes of a downtown cafe. The weather was warm, so I decided on a pineapple soda. It was sweet and refreshing and exactly what I needed. Whilst in the city, I headed to my favourite western supermarket to pick up some cheese and soup. One of the benefits of living in a big city is that something is always happening. Like the charity event, Ice Cream for Breakfast. This event runs throughout February and is celebrated all over the world by organisations and families. The event raises money for local and international charities, plus you get a delicious ice cream for breakfast. My ideal event. I got vanilla and Melissa got the dairy-free strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> Chili flakes, chili oil, coriander, if they're the toppings you want on your ice cream. I mushed up my ice cream so it's no longer attractive like Melissa's. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next week.